Okay, now who wants to come for a walk and talk with me to that live volcano right behind us? You do? Well then go and look for your best toga, tighten your sandals and let's go explore Greece. Just wanted to show you this. This is the main viewing platform. I don't want to go all, all the way into there because that I think would spoil a surprise. Definitely check it out. It's dead easy to find because if you're coming by coach, that's where you're going to park. And that there, cafe, toilets and shade. Okay, let me tell you a bit about where we are. This here is Stephanos Crater. Of course you knew that, but didn't you, by the title of the video, I guess, and a bit of the description. Located right here on a really beautiful island of Nisiros, obviously Greece. And that's part of the Dodecanese, the ten major group of islands in the Aegean. And nestled actually between Kos and Telos. I almost said Tinos then. It's between Kos and Telos. Now, most visitors, including myself, we've arrived by ferry. You can get um, a direct ferry from Cardamina and even from Kos Town. But um, I've come on an excursion because it is a long journey from the bottom of Nisiros all the way up here. I think it's about 12 to 14 kilometers just via coach. So definitely recommend you choose one of them. I've got links in the description about those because there's so many everywhere. You're spoilt for choice. Now, by the way, if you are, I guess, new to coming to Cos, I've got a really good beginner's guide that will cover everything for you. Um, if you can't see it in the link above, it will be in the description. Definitely recommend you check it out. It's full of lots of tips and tricks. Oh, only about 10 minutes long. Ideal, as I said, for the beginner. Now, as we come down, and hopefully there isn't a brilliant blooper of me falling all the way down, let me, let me tell you some about the, the crater itself. So let me get down these steps here. Here we go. It's a bit bright. Right, let's get the bit of the scientific out first, shall we? Uh, this is well, what's known as a composite volcano, also known as a stratovolcano. What the heck does that mean? Well, best way really is think of it as a giant cone made of layers. Except the layers here are, are lava, pumice, volcanic ash. It's like a giant volcanic ice cream cone. But I guess less tasty. Now, a famous example, certainly more well known than this one here, um, is in Japan. Anyone guess what that one is? Okay, that's Mount Fuji. Now, these volcanoes can have massive explosive eruptions because the magma below traps all the gases just like a soda can would has been shaken up too much but this is a pretty big soda can wouldn't you say now as we are about halfway down I might be able to make a couple of people there in the distance to begin to give you some idea of how wide this is it's really big the so the diameter is round about what 300 meters that's about what a thousand feet um, which is like three football fields that's UK football fields not American although I suppose 300 meters is pretty big in anyone's book and it's around 90 feet deep that's about 27 meters which is about the height of a nine-story building so that gives you an idea of how deep it is now, this crater here, it's the largest, that's Stephanos crater. It's the largest of three on the island. Just bear with me, just going down some more steps here. And it was formed, obviously, by volcanic activity. 
and it's part of what's known as the Hellenic Volcanic Arc, which is a chain of volcanic islands, um, which is a chain of volcanic islands and also underwater volcanoes right here in the Aegean. And all of this started forming round about 150,000 years ago. Now that's one heck of an ancient construction project, isn't it? So here we are right in the centre. Let's do a slow panorama round. There we go. Maybe not so slow. I'll explain or bore you with what some of the colours mean, but they are very, very important. They really are very interesting. So let's make a way to the centre. Now, as was mentioned, um, it has been erupted, but um, last time was uh, 1888. Um, but since the early 1900s, sorry, 1990s, 2000s, there's, there's been more volcanic activity. But I guess if this goes up and somehow this uh, GoPro camera survives, that's going to be one heck of a viral video for whoever finds it. Now I mentioned about the colours, um, if you can see this in 4K, I definitely suggest it, but uh, let's find some way you can get obstacles, let's start with here. Now, you'll see yellow and orange. Now, most people, including myself, will say, oh yes, that's sulphur, you're absolutely right. But it's also iron as well, iron minerals, uh, like limonite. Now, sulphur isn't always yellow, uh, and orange it only when it really goes solid all around the gas vents so that's a good indicator there that at some point there's gas vents right around there now the white there which is a big chunk there and I'm also looking for light grey which is that one on there now these colours are due to minerals like silica which most people have heard of but not alunite now silica will form when volcanic gases cool down Likewise, alanite, but that forms in acidic hot water. Now I'm trying to look for some red and also brown. Yeah, just up on top there, that's red and brown. Now they come from iron minerals, most common uh, hematite. And they, they're formed when the iron comes out and then reacts with the amount of oxygen on the surface. Normally there would be bubbling pools of mud. We might be able to, to be lucky and see them. Um, these are really hot, well over 100 degrees. So obviously, definitely no touching, and that's why there's a little barrier to stop us from uh, going in there. There's also as well, we sh I can't see him here, but it'll be on the east side of the crater, um, on the floor itself. We'll see if we can see one or two. We should be lucky. Uh, these are what's known as fumaroles. Now these are openings in the ground where gases escape and the steam and the gases that comes out of these cracks that's called fumus and I'm just looking around to see if I can see any or hear any now the wind's actually gone down because another way to, to recognize them is by sound and they hiss and sputter and making the crater feel alive um, another way of detecting them is with your nose because they emit, I'm just trying to get a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a smell now, so it might be over here. That's the nose. Oof, yeah. So that's another way of detecting them because they're, as well as being hot, they're also pretty smelly. Kind of like rotten eggs, which is the sulfur. And for those people of my generation, it's a bit like, do you remember the stink bombs you used to get from the joke shop? Don't know about other countries, but in the UK, oh yeah, it's a bit like rotten eggs. Let's see if we can see any or hear any definitely get smell but the wind is pretty strong in carrying it so nothing nothing there sorry i'm just trying to listen to see if i can hear any oh, i can see, yeah there's one I just sort of bit of whiff there so yep so now it's well You've seen one volcano away, you've seen them all. Absolutely amazing. Just wandering around trying to use sight, sound and smell. 
see if I can detect any of these fumaroles with you. The wind, a bit windy down here today, you wouldn't expect it, would you? There I am complaining here about the wind. wind. So the wind? Is that the first blooper? There I am complaining about the wind and look at the sight we've got, eh? As I said, although we're on the island of Nisiros, it's only off the coast of Koz, I've got some really good videos you want to check out. The first one I definitely recommend, as I briefly mentioned before, is our beginner's guide to Koz. And that will tell you everything most people will need most of the time. You can't include everything, it would be six, seven hours long. But this one is only a few minutes and would really genuinely give you all the basics that you need to know so definitely check that out it's in the description if i remember I should be able to stick it in the pinned comment as well at the top hang on yeah i'm getting a sense of something here let's go back here see if we can see anything there's a few more holes Here we go. Oh yes. Let's um let's see if we can zoom in. You might be able to hear it. It, eh? That was certainly my first fumarole. As I said, that's the hot gas coming out there, and that's a lot more potent sulfur smell from it as well. Really hot. You can stick a frying pan on there and certainly cook your eggs if you wanted to. Winds died down a little bit here. You can see the surface. Let me lower the camera for you. And there you have it. Walk and talk with me down one of the most active volcanoes in the world and the largest in the world in its type at Stephanos Crater, Stephanos Volcano, right here on the island of Nisiros. Obviously, if you have any questions, stick them below. But in the meantime, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Oh, and the usual last thing, don't forget, go explore Greece!